coming to you from the airport. Hopefully you guys can hear me. I don't really know how the audio is gonna be in this. But anyway, we are about to fly to SoCal and my mom's gonna be in the area. So she's gonna pick me up and then we're gonna go eat a few of our favorite places in Orange County. And then tomorrow we're going to San Diego. So it's been a while since I've been back there. So I'm very excited to see what we have to eat over there. <laughs> and then over the coming days, I'm gonna see some friends. And then the last two days of our trip, we are going to Disney and gonna eat the holiday food, which I'm so, so excited. So anyway, we're about to board the flight. So I'll see you guys there. I just door dashed some food to the airport because my mom was supposed to pick me up, but she's running late. She's basically stuck in traffic for like an hour and a half. And normally I just wait to eat with her because we have plans to eat, but I haven't eaten or drank anything all day because I was just busy getting everything ready for the trip. And then even yesterday I was like editing all day to get my cheap eats video up. So I accidentally skipped dinner. I just didn't have time to eat. So yeah, it's been a really long time since I've eaten and it's kind of just an emergency situation. So I ordered some Jaybirds because I know that this place is close to the Long Beach airport. First I got some sweet tea, <sighs> very much needed. And I can't wait for this food. Oh my God, it smells so good. Ooh. Oh my goodness. This is the blazing fries. Look at that. Oh my God. I don't think they gave me a fork. No. <laughs> oh my God. How am I going to eat this without a fork? Cause I've already exited the area of the airport that would have a fork, like where the restaurants and stuff are. So I don't know what to do. I guess I'll just eat it with my hands. I mean, it's still going to taste really good, but it's unfortunate that I don't have a fork. <laughs> First bite of food in like 24 hours. Mm, mm, mm. Oh my god. Mm, that is so good. This is pure bliss. Mm. I'm speechless. Like, I literally can't say anything else, but wow. I'm gonna eat this, probably watch some YouTube, and wait for mom to pick me up. <laughs> this is not how I saw this day going, but I got my fries, I got my food, I'm happy, so. No matter that. Mm. You have enough ginger? <laughs> she literally took three little plates worth of ginger all onto her own plate. I am a ginger lover. <laughs> I love all the ginger. So you don't have to eat any. Good, good. Yeah, I mean, I gave you mine, but I didn't expect you to also take another one. <laughs> All right, we are at Din Tai Fung. We literally had other plans, right, Mom? Yeah. Yes, but you took too long. You got stuck in traffic. So some of the places closed. We were going to go to the Bun Gun place that we really like, but it closes at 5, so we didn't make it. And then we were going to go to Brodart after. But then suddenly when I got in the car, Mom says she wants Din Tai Fung. So here we are. Yeah. We used to actually come to this Din Tai Fung all the time. Whenever we would drive to, down to Disney, we would always go to either the Arcadia Din Tai Fung or this one, which is the South Coast Plaza in Costa Mesa. So yeah, and luckily today we didn't have to wait too long. Only like 10 minutes, if even that. Yeah, not even that. Yeah, excited. Whenever we come to Din Tai Fung, we always get this. It's the Shanghai Rice Cakes. You can get it at other Chinese restaurants too, but they make it pretty solid here and we just really like the dish. But if you guys have never had it, it's so good. Like the rice cakes are so chewy. All right, our first order of dumplings came. We got the shrimp and pork dumplings. Mom actually wanted this. Xiaolong Bao is the thing that Din Tai Fung is the most known for, but mom was very insistent that she wanted this instead. I think it's better flavoring, more unamami, and uh, yeah, it's just as much soup inside. Really? You yeah. think so? I think so. And then we also got the shrimp and pork spicy wonton. This one's my favorite. Well, one of my favorites. I also love the shalom of course, but this sauce is like liquid gold. 
It's so good. Like, you know how I make spicy wontons at home and it's already really good? Like, it's Bird's favorite? I still think this one's better. A lot of times, spicy wontons, when I order at the restaurants, I'm like, eh, the one I make at home is better. But this one, I'm like, no, this is, this is the best one. <laughs> this one's better. It's so good. That sauce. It's just unbeatable. You think this shrimp and pork dumpling has more soup than the shallow mouth? No, it doesn't. It doesn't, mom. Mm. Mm. It is juicy, but not as much soup as the shallow mouth. Mm. Still really good though. Yeah. I'm dipping my shrimp and pork dumpling in the wonton sauce. Honestly, dip anything in this sauce and it will be good. Another hack that we like to do is to get the pork chop fried rice, or really any of their fried rices, and then pour this sauce on this fried rice. Oh, it is the best. So good. So get some of the fried rice, and then you gotta grab the sauce and pour it right on there. It is so good, literally. Like, I come to Jintai Punk for this. Of course I come for the Shalom Bao too, but this is a must get. So good. good morning vlog we are in Carlsbad and we are headed to our first stop of the day and if the footage looks different it's because I'm using the little DJI camera that I showed you guys so hopefully the audio is okay I think the camera quality is good but I'm not sure about the audio but today I'm actually gonna be using this camera for the first time and I'm gonna vlog all our food adventures on it but yeah we are going to this place called Harumama Let's open this. Oh my god, look how cute! Oh, so cute! This is so cute. Oh my goodness. The little piggies. And then last but not least, we have chicken. That's so cute. <laughs> so this unicorn one has ube filling. And then this pig one has pork filling, <laughs> clearly, because it's a, a pig. <laughs> and then this chicken one has chicken, chicken filling. Pig. Look how cute this is. Oh my goodness. I'm screaming. <laughs> you know they have roosters too. Roosters? Oh, because it has a little the red thing on top. Yeah. Oh, it's hot. Ooh. Cheers. Mmm. Mm. Not bad. Very fluffy buns. Yeah, they're super fluffy and soft. The chicken has good flavor. I don't know what they used to season it. Yeah. See, it's kind of like chopped up chicken. Well, it's very flavorful. Let's try the pork one. Ooh. Oh. oh my goodness. Cheers. Hmm. Mm. I like this one better. You like the pork one better? Mm. This is taste like pork floss though. I can see why you say it tastes like pork floss. The texture is similar-ish to pork floss and then even the flavor. It's kind of similar too. I think I like the chicken one better though. You do? Mm -hmm. This one is a bit dry. Yes. The chicken one is more moist. It helps that it's very cute. <laughs> <laughs> Let's try the unicorn. It's so cute. Mom said that if she eats this, she's gonna turn into Agnes from Despicable Me. <laughs> What's it, what did she say? It's so fluffy. <laughs> Ooh, look at that. So this actually looks more like taro than ube. Cause yeah. ube is more of a bright purple. This is more like muted a little. Yeah, yeah. Ube, if you use real ube, it's like super bright purple. This right. one's a little more like muted. Yeah, taro. Cheers. Mmm. It does have a taro taste. Mmm. I don't know if this is gonna ruin it for you, but does that have cinnamon? <laughs> no. No? I feel like I taste a little cinnamon. I'm very sensitive here. The cinnamon, I've been jumping up already. <laughs> okay, so no cinnamon. I don't know what, the, maybe it's a different flavor. I'm confusing it. Yeah, if mom says it has, doesn't have cinnamon, then it doesn't have cinnamon. It's like with me and ginger. If it has ginger, I'll know. 
just like you. If it has cinnamon, you'll know. Yeah. Good girl. Very good. Mm-hmm. Which one was your favorite? The pork? Mm. I like this one and the chicken. The pork is my least favorite. <laughs> we try not to order too much here because we are gonna go eat a few other places after this. I have a little mini itinerary of San Diego foods today. And then we're having early dinner with a family friend. So we couldn't pack too much in today's itinerary, but I tried to pack it as much as I could. We'll see how much we get through. All right, we got our tacos. Look at these. We have a Sonora taco. So this one is on a flour tortilla and has steak, beans, guacamole, onion, cilantro. And then this one, I believe, is their spicy shrimp. I think it's called camarón, camarón taco. And it has avocado. Look at all that avocado they put. And then you can see those shrimps there. And then here is the Al Pastor. They said this one is the most popular. You can see that they added the little pineapple, which I like. So let's dig in. Which one should we try first? The Al Pastor, maybe. Okay. Because that's their most popular one. Let's see. Which I'm just going to put the classic pico de gallo on it. Really? Mm. Mm. Nice freshness. Mm -hmm. It's really flavorful too and tender. The pork is like not super tough or anything. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's so good. Mm. I'm going to add some of this pickled onion. Mm. I really like the pickled onion actually. It still has the sharpness that I love from onion. Okay, let's try the spicy shrimp. <laughs> Add the lime on top, whoa. <laughs> Should I add something, uh, some sort of salsa? This one? Hmm. Right. Very good. Oh, spicy. Wow. Mm. Do you taste the spice? Mm -hmm. It actually does have a kick. I don't know if it's from the salsa or from only the shrimp, but it does have a kick. And then the creaminess of the avocado and the shrimp is nice and snappy. Do you like it? I love it. You love it? Ah, yeah. Which one do you like better, the al pastor or the shrimp? I still like the al pastor a little bit better. Mm. What about you? I think I like the al pastor better too, but I do like that one too, a lot. Yeah. And these tacos are so big, especially this one. Oh, This is like huge. It's like a mini burrito. <laughs> the Sonora taco. Mmm. Mm. I don't know if you guys can see on the tortilla, but there's some melted cheese on there. That one's good. It's different. It's different from the others, but it's good. It has a lot of filling for a taco. It literally is like a mini burrito. Yeah. Because it's huge and then has like beans, cheese, guacamole, onion, steak. It's very flavorful. Yeah. That one's really filling. Yesterday when I was waiting in the airplane, I put up an Instagram story asking you guys where I should eat in San Diego. And this was one of the most highly recommended spots. A lot, a lot, a lot of people recommended the taco stand. And they have multiple locations across San Diego. And the other popular one that was recommended was Tacos Al Gordo, which I've been to before many times. And so I wanted to try something different. Remember we went to Tacos Al Gordo when we went to San Diego a few years ago? Did, that was good too. Yeah, that one's good too. Yeah. There's so much good like Mexican food in, in San Diego. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Okay, we are at Better Buzz Coffee, and they also have multiple locations around San Diego area, but we're at the Encinitas one, which is just, a, you know, less than a block walk from the taco stand. So I've always seen this on social media, so we're finally getting to try it, and they even have Christmas cups right now. Look how cute. <laughs> this one is called the best drink ever. Oh, that's what they oh. said. That's what they said. And they said that's what they're most known for. So I was like, okay, let's try it because it's our first time here. And it's a classic Americano with signature creamy vanilla. That's what it says. Oh. Mm. Yeah, it's nice. Wow. Yeah. It's like not bitter at all, but it has a strong coffee flavor. It's like creamy. 
Wow, I can see why it's you know best popular. drink ever. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like usually you don't drink coffee too. I don't drink coffee. A little bit allergic to it because right. it costs me um, coffee to be faster. Oh, okay, yeah. Don't drink too much, mom. <laughs> Careful. Mom loves coffee flavored things, but apparently she's allergic to coffee itself, the straight up stuff, right? Yeah. But it's the leash. It is the leash, yeah. And I ordered a small. I don't know what, what happened, but I got a large. I don't right. think we'll be able to finish it because I'm caffeine sensitive. These two sips, you're going to stay up late tonight. <laughs> I wish Bird was here. I wish Bird was here. Give to Bird. Yes. He would be happy with this. It's sweet. Yeah. yeah. And he loves coffee. And he does love coffee, yeah. True. I'd come back and try some of their other drinks. All right. <laughs> Good choice. All right, we got our donuts. Let's take a look. So we got the huckleberry. That's their most popular flavor. And then we got the lemon pound cake because mom loves lemon flavored stuff. Mm -hmm. And then this one, we actually originally got a vanilla bean one, but then this one was just coming out as we were paying and we asked to switch it. It's a sage apple pie. I know, it sounds so interesting, right? Yeah, let's try the huckleberry first. Okay. This one actually is gluten friendly, they said. Ah, yeah. Every week they have a different gluten friendly flavor. And mom is kind of sensitive to gluten. I mean, she's still going to eat the other ones that aren't gluten friendly, but yeah, yes. she tries to get gluten-free stuff when she can, right? Mm -hmm. This one is so interesting. It's like kind of cake-like, like a mm. cake donut. Cheers. Mmm, mmm, mm, good. Mm -hmm. It reminds me of like a blueberry cake donut, almost, but it has a different flavor because it's huckleberry and not blueberry. But it has like the same kind of texture as that and it's a very, very similar flavor. It's very good. It's good, mm. yeah. I can't believe this is gluten-friendly. I know, it tastes... Tastes like, like a regular, normal, yeah. Donut. Mm. Now we have a lemon pound cake. Oh, yeah, Ooh, look. It's also a cakey. Yeah, it's very cakey. Look at that. Okay, here, you get the one with the lemon slice. <laughs> Thank you. You know me. <laughs> I do know you. <laughs> Cheers. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, whoa. Mine is very lemony. Well, I got the lemon slice too. Right. Even without it, it is lemony. But yours is probably lemonier. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's interesting. It looks like cakey, but it's still really fluffy. Like mm -hmm. it's almost like a hybrid between a donut and a cake donut. Mm -hmm. Very interesting. Mmm. Very good. I feel like I haven't had a donut like this before, like this texture. Mm-hmm. It's good. Mm -hmm. Last but not least, the sage apple pie. I'm worried actually that you won't like this one because it has apple pie, which has cinnamon. And you hate cinnamon. Um, well, well, let's see, let's see. Let's don't, see. don't talk badly well, about it first. <laughs> Mom says, give it a chance. There's like an apple compote in the middle. Ooh, Ooh. look at that. Ooh, wow. Cheers. Cheers. Wow. Mmm. 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 I'm glad we switched. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Each donut had different texture. The first one was kind of denser. The second one was like a hybrid between a cake donut and a donut. This and this is, is more like a real donut, like fluffy and light. And very flavorful. Mmm. Very messy, but very good. I can taste a little cinnamon. I don't mind. You don't mind? Mm, just a little bit. Mm. Mm. It's that good. Mm, very good. And then that was my favorite of the mm -hmm. three. That apple pie sage one, really, really good. Also wanted to mention that right by Sidecar, there's actually a Omomo. And I featured this place in my OC vlog. And I've also tried them in a Trying Every Boba Shop in SoCal video on my main channel. But anyway, just wanted to mention that it's here right next to Sidecar in case you guys are looking for a place to get boba. Omomo is the place to check out.
All right, now we are at Hawaiian Fresh Seafood. This place, I only knew about it because a lot of you guys recommended it to me on my Instagram story. So you guys are really coming through with the recommendations. <laughs> but yeah, we're kind of full and soon we have to go to our family friend's house to eat dinner. So we only ordered a small portion. We have one fourth pound of their garlic salmon and one fourth pound of their shoyu ahi. So let's try the shoyu ahi first. I'm gonna get some with onion. Oh, look at that. Oh, it looks so good. Cheers. Cheers. Mmm. Mmm. Warm. Buttery smooth. Hella buttery. Oh my gosh. Oh, it tastes so fresh. Wow. It's like practically melts in your mouth. You know? Yep, yep, yep. Can't agree more. Mm. Okay, I'll grab some onion too. This so one yum. actually not super strong on flavor. Very mild flavor. Did you give you a little extra show you here? I on think the they, side? they can do that because the tuna is so fresh. Right, right. I mean, usually they have salty uh, pokey when the tuna is not as fresh. <laughs> to mask it, right? <laughs> to mask it, yeah. Ooh, oh my gosh, it's so good. Reminds me of like eating poke in Hawaii. Hawaii, yeah. yeah. Mm. Mm. So buttery smooth. Oh my god. Okay. Now let's try the garlic salmon. Ooh, very strong garlic smell. Cheers. Cheers. Mmm. Mm. Wow. Super garlicky, mm -hmm. but it works. This is very smooth too. Mm hmm. Super buttery, melt in your mouth. I mean, with salmon, it's usually pretty smooth. But wow, really good. I've only ever had garlic poke once, only once that I remember, and it was when I was in Hawaii. I had a garlic ahi that I really, really liked. This is garlic salmon, and it's really good too. Yeah, I think, you know, the fish is so fresh. It really don't need too much Extra flavor. Stuff. Yeah. yeah, and I like how here they do it like Hawaiian style where they marinate it. Whereas, you know, a lot of poke shops in California, you build your own bowl and they like mix in all the stuff on the spot for you. Mm. But this place like does it like Hawaii does. Mm -hmm. Wow, 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 wow. Really nice light snack too, before dinner. Yes. <laughs> All right, we are at Mango Cafe. I'm talking really quietly because there's a lot of students here studying and they also aren't playing any music. So, we got their mango kakigori. So it's basically like a mango shaved ice and it's so cute. Look at the little like whipped cream on top. It looks like a flower. <laughs> and then it comes with some condensed milk and some mango sauce. Cheers. Mm, very mango. Wow. And the texture of the ice, it's so like fine. It's nice because it has a mango flavor, but it's not super overpowering. But then you can, if you want more mango flavor, you can add the mango sauce. Mm -hmm. And if you want it sweeter, you can add the condensed yeah, milk. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Very nice and light, fluffy dessert. Right. Mm. This is nice actually, because it's like a dessert, but it's quite light. It's a good <laughs> pre-dinner dessert. Yes, yes, yes. Even though we've been eating all day, it's like, this doesn't feel like it's adding much. Yeah. Yeah. They also have a lot of other flavors. They don't just have the mango one. Like their whole cafe is themed around mango, but other than the mango flavor, they also have like a green tea kakigori or cookies and cream kakigori or a strawberry kakigori. Or they also have like a butterfly pea tea lychee. <laughs> That's a wow. long name. Butterfly pea tea lychee. It's basically a lychee kakigori, but it's blue because they add the butterfly pea tea. You know, this is kind of like a frozen cotton candy because it's so light and airy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't say exactly, but I can see the comparison because mm -hmm. it's very light and melts in your mouth. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm gonna have some mango sauce. Ooh. Mm. It's good mm -hmm. with the mango sauce? Let me try. Mm. Mm. Whoa. Right. It adds so much mango flavor. Yeah, right? it's really strong in flavor and it tastes very fresh too. Yeah. Like it doesn't just taste like artificial mango syrup. It tastes like they made it from real mangoes. And because it also adds condensed milk. Haha. Might as well. Mom's having 
fun with this one. Yeah. <laughs> fun to eat. Fun to eat. Where's Bird when you need him? <laughs> Very yummy. Yeah, really nice. It just glides down. <laughs> you haven't said that in a while. Oh. That used to be one of your catchphrases. It just glides down. Mm -hmm. But this one does. So. <laughs> I feel like the pokey just glides down too. too. Yes, yes, <laughs> true, true. You're right. Hello vlog, we are back at the hotel now. Sorry I didn't vlog anything from when we went over to our family friend's house, but we just had a really nice dinner and it was just good food and good company. But yeah, that's it for this vlog. If you made it this far, comment below. Those are the cutest buns ever because they really were. <laughs> and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.